Hello, glow, flame, ignite! Let's get ready to worship the Lord! Oh, yeah, but seriously, welcome to another Sunday session with me. It's Sophie. Hi, how are you? If I haven't met you before, I am the children's worker and it is such a pleasure to be virtually joined by you today. Now, we did four weeks looking at the prophet Elijah. This week, we're going to have a little break, of a break from Elijah and Elisha, who we met last week, and we're going to look at another prophet. His name is Jonah. He has a pretty unusual, pretty weird story that we're going to have a look at today. Now, we don't actually know that much about Jonah. Everything we know is in the book of Jonah which was written by him, and it's only four chapters long. It's a very unusual story, as I've already said, and it kind of demonstrates what not to do. I've actually got another cartoon for us to watch for the majority of the story. So if you click up in this corner, you'll see a little eye icon, and you can go to that cartoon. If you are eating night, and you're super familiar with the story of Jonah, Feel free to go to your Bible and read chapter 4 of the book because this often gets left out of the retelling. If you're at Ignite and you haven't ever heard of the story of Jonah, I'd really encourage you to watch the cartoon as well, but also maybe afterwards to come back and read chapter 4 of Jonah. So I'm going to go let you do that. You can pause this video and watch the next cartoon. What are you still doing here? We're paused. Welcome back. Wasn't that just the weirdest story? So unusual. I want to tell you how the book of Jonah ends though. The book of Jonah ends with the people of Nineveh turning their hearts to God. Now you'd think this would make Jonah really excited and want to celebrate, but it doesn't. It actually makes him feel really silly. You see, Jonah went out and told the entire town that God was coming to destroy them. But then, when they changed their hearts, God changed his mind. And he's allowed to do that. Because he's in charge of everything. So what Jonah did is he went out and he sat underneath this branch, this, this tree, and waited to see if Nineveh would be destroyed. And he was super grumpy that it was still there. And that's how the story ends. What we see demonstrated in this book is that Jonah seems to miss the point that God forgives people. This was a time before Jesus had come, so we couldn't have Jesus to help us be friends to God, which meant it was a bit more difficult. But it still wasn't unusual for God to forgive people. So it seems very interesting that Jonah gets so grumpy that God changes his mind, especially because only a few days earlier, Jonah had mucked up quite a lot and God had rescued him, albeit in a bit of a funny way, being swallowed by a big fish. But that meant that Jonah didn't drown. God rescued Jonah with the big fish and he showed forgiveness to Jonah and compassion to Jonah and love to Jonah. So it's really confusing and a bit baffling why Jonah doesn't like it when other people get this forgiveness. The book of Jonah shows us a lot of the time what not to do as Christians. We shouldn't run away from God. We should listen to what he wants us to do because his plan is good. And we should forgive other people as they've forgiven us. To help demonstrate the importance of following the instructions and doing things right, I've got a little bit of an experiment for you. Let me just teleport myself outside. Ah, that's better. So today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the importance of following the instructions and following direction. So we're going to make some lava lamps. Now you can do this at home. All you need is some olive oil, some food colouring, some aspirin or anything that's sort of dissolvable in water like um, any sort of tablet like that and then some water. 
Now, first what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to do it incorrectly. So I'm going to add in my oil first. And I'm just going to use a little bit of oil. Then I'm going to add in lots and lots and lots and lots of food colouring. That was a lot. And then I'm going to add in my water. And then I'm going to add in one tablet, two, three. Now, it's not looking very cool. Can you see that the oil has separated from the water? It didn't do the instructions in the right order. First, I'm going to put about two or three drops of my food colouring into my jar. I did three. Next, I'm going to fill it up about a quarter of the way with water. Then I'm going to fill the rest of it with my oil. Then I'm going to add some of my tablets and we'll see if this one looks a bit more like a lava lamp. Whoa, check out those bubbles. Can you see all the bubbles coming up? How cool does that look? <laughs> so I'll put in a few more. Woo! Look at that! How cool does that look and how much better is it when I follow the directions of the science experiment? I kind of want to add a few more. Oh, that's looking like an epic lava lamp. So as you can see, it's so important to follow direction because look at how much better the red one's turned out when I've done everything in the right order. The blue one, I just threw in all the ingredients together how I wanted and it did not work out. And this is what Jonah got wrong. He didn't listen to instruction and he didn't listen to direction. And he ended up in the belly of a fish. Let's go back inside for some questions. Question number one. What did Jonah do wrong? Question number two. Why do you think Jonah didn't do what God asked him to do? Question number three. Why did God send a big fish to swallow Jonah? Question number four. Why was Jonah upset that the people of Nineveh turned to God? Well, how about that, kids? That's all I've got for you on today's story about Jonah. Before we go, why don't I pray, though? Dear God, thank you that you love us. Thank you that you forgive us. Thank you that you can help us to make the right decision. Help us to remember this week to do what you ask us to do and help us to remember that things turn out better when we do it your way. Amen. As always, if you are new to watching St. John's online services and you want to reach out and say hi, feel free to contact me at children at stjohnsblackheath.org.uk. If you would like to do some crafts, they are on the website, stjohnsblackheath.org.uk. Hope you have a fantastic week. Bye.